Hi everyone, I'm Claire Saffitz. I'm outdoors at my parents' house in Cape Cod. I'm about to make a perennial favorite in the Saffitz family. It's a clam pizza. I'm gonna do it on the grill. Check out our clam chowder episode where you'll see me dig the clams. I got one. Cook the clams. I pluck out the meat. Ow. Where are my tongs? Oh, I'm using my tongs. <laughs> and once you have that set, it only takes a few minutes. Of course, I did make pizza dough. You can use any pizza dough that you like. It's like a really fun, quick recipe when you have all the prep done. And it's gonna be so good and it's gonna be our dinner. We basically try to put clams on everything. We do every clam dish we possibly can. We do clam pasta, we do clam chowder. The pizza is a vehicle for the clams. We do like clam toast. And clam pizza is a classic, and it's a kind of a New England thing. You have like Connecticut, like Frank Pepe clam pizza. And this is kind of our version of it. It's not like the classic Connecticut style, but it's just such a great vehicle for like all of these flavors that we want in one dish, which are like olive oil, garlic, clams, chili flake. Sorry, <laughs> we got the air conditioner behind me. We can't turn it off, but it's just really good and like super fun to make. And you can do the whole thing on the grill. And that's like my favorite kind of summer cooking. So I have this like super easy overnight pizza dough that I mixed last night. It's like no need, you can kind of forget about it. But you can use any pizza dough that you like and we'll definitely feature future episodes of making the pizza dough. So definitely subscribe and you'll catch that. So I have your pizza dough, use any dough that you like. Then red pepper flake, parsley, lemon, olive oil. These are my clams that I have already picked, all the meat, and an entire head of garlic. This is a very garlicky recipe. It's like an essential flavor besides the clams and you'll never put too much. And I've just been peeling it here and crushing the cloves. So the first step of the recipe is to cook the garlic in the oil and kind of infuse the oil with this like garlic clam chili mixture. So that's what I'm gonna start with. I am using a gas grill, it's my parents' grill. It's like a super reliable gas grill. I have one burner on and it's a center burner. So I don't want like super intense heat for this part. Reliable outside of the thermometer. Oh yeah, the thermometer's broken. I don't know. What it's on... How bad is that? These are very large garlic cloves and I crushed them, but I'm gonna just give them like a very quick chop, but I'm gonna leave them in big pieces because I don't want them eventually to burn. So in Italian cuisine, it's kind of understood that there's a rule that when you have seafood, you don't add cheese. Like for example, linguine clam sauce, no cheese. While I understand it, I don't feel like I need to pay attention to those rules really. I'm not Italian, I don't live in Italy. I'm not really making that dish. So I think a little bit of dairy is very welcome in a clam pizza, so I have Parmesan cheese. It goes so well, and it kind of does what cream does for like a Connecticut clam pizza. You know, you want like that kind of, a little bit of that creaminess. I love the like umami of parm, so I like it. You don't have to put it on if you don't want to. So I'm gonna let my pan get hot. My dad was like, you'll notice hot spots on this grill, the back right. I was like, we did notice that. I'm just gonna take a second to get hot. Turn it up a little bit. The oil matches your pants. The color? Mm -hmm. This is a recipe that's gonna use a lot of olive oil, but that's how a lot of good recipes start. So the clams, they are not fully cooked. So a little bit more cooking in here is gonna be just fine and they won't get rubbery. So I'm gonna add my garlic. And while that's, it's still really warming up, I'm gonna start to chop my clams. I'm gonna do a pretty rough chop on these and I have some liquid here that the clams released. I'm gonna save that because I'm definitely gonna add that to my like garlic mixture. And I didn't bring any salt out with me because the clams are so intensely salty, basically like the salinity of ocean water. So I can always add salt at the end. I, I remember in culinary school, the chef would yell at me because I would always like, I was like a little nervous and I would add the food before the oil was hot. Just, what are you doing? Like, I don't know, that's why I'm here. He was like kind of mean, but I kind of liked him. If you could say one thing to him right now, what would you say? Look at me now. <laughs> I bet he never would have guessed. <laughs> he would be like, what are you doing? He would probably say the exact same thing to me. Okay, so I just want to get a little bit of color on the garlic. I don't want it to be raw, but I don't necessarily need to like fully cook it either. I like a little bit of the bite, but I also want the kind of like roasted, almost sweet flavor of it being a little bit cooked. I'm gonna add some red pepper flakes. Not too many, I don't want it to be overly spicy. 
half-ish teaspoon. I'm gonna let that chili infuse for a few seconds and then I'm gonna add the clams. Oops. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little more olive oil. I need everything to be coated in it. There's a lot of clams that I added, probably two cups of chopped clams, but you don't need that much. This is kind of done. I'm gonna take it off the heat and then I'm going to close the lid, turn on all the burners, preheat the grill so it's really hot. And while I'm waiting for that, I am going to stretch my pizza dough. This I'm gonna set down over here so that no one steps on it. Oh, wait a minute, I forgot to add this. I'm gonna add a little bit of the clam juice <laughs> from a great distance. Probably just a tablespoon or even less. So let me get these burners going. That one's on. That, oh, these are all on, okay. So I have my dough, which is enough for like two kind of 10 inch-ish round pizzas, but I'm gonna do one large one. This is dough for, made from about two cups of flour. I made it last night, it was resting in the fridge. Like I said, you could use any kind of store-bought dough or any kind of dough if your like, local pizzeria sells it. I'm gonna oil it a little bit, and then I'm gonna oil my parchment. So I have a half sheet tray with a piece of parchment paper. The parchment paper is there to help me transfer it to the grill, but what I'm gonna do is directly cook just the dough on the grill. Then I'm gonna lift it off, put it on the sheet tray, top it with my clam mixture and then put the whole, plus some cheese and then put the whole thing on the sheet tray on the grill to let the topping kind of like warm. Cheese will kind of melt and brown. So it's kind of a two-step process. So I have oiled my dough. I'm gonna make sure it's nice and relaxed. I'm gonna give the parchment a little bit of oil. I'm just kind of stretching it. I don't really care what the shape is. I just want it to be an even thickness. So this is probably a little thicker in some spots than I want it to be. I want it to fill a little bit more of the pan. Now the tricky thing about this grill, like a lot of grills, is it has zones. It's really hot in the bottom right, and in the back right, a lot colder in the front. So we're just gonna kind of do our best. Are you gonna just rotate it? Or? Yeah, I'll just kind of move it around. But because it's so thin, it doesn't, it's not gonna take long for it on the stove, on the grill to like cook basically and then I'll be able to move it around. I do love stretching pizza dough, it's very satisfying. Okay, so I'm gonna slide this onto my preheated grill. Oh God, flip back over, close it. So basically I wanna get it, the dough cooked through and I wanna get grill marks on both sides and it's not gonna take very long. Oh my God. Okay, well we gotta get this parchment off here, huh? So I'm gonna flip this. That looks so good. Look at how good that looks. Who knew I was gonna get grill marks underneath the parchment? I didn't. So obviously very quick. That was probably in there for like 90 seconds to two minutes. And now I'm just marking the other side. God, look how good this looks. All right, I think this is done. I'm gonna pull this off. This is the bottom of the pizza. So I'm gonna get this onto my sheet tray. Look how good it looks. Keep this hot. And this can just kind of hang out here. I'm gonna load it up with my clam mixture. Now, I actually feel like the dough could be cooked more. It might be a little bit soft on the insides, but that's good because it's gonna cook more when I put the whole thing back on the grill. So I love how this looks. I am going to sprinkle my cheese on top. The dough is seasoned because the dough has salt. The clams are super salty. I'm not adding really any other salt. Also salty cheese, keep that in mind as well. So this is gonna go sheet tray and all back onto the grill, lid closed, which again creates a kind of like oven effect. So it's gonna melt the cheese. I want it to get like a little brown and I want the dough to cook a little bit more, but it won't take very long. In the meantime, I'm gonna chop a little parsley and a couple lemon wedges for finishing it off. I think it's done. I don't want it to burn on the bottom. And it's literally sizzling. My gosh, it looks so good. Now I'm gonna do some finishing touches. I'm gonna do a little bit more olive oil. It doesn't need it, but it doesn't hurt. I think another few red pepper flakes. I think some fresh parm because like melted, slightly brown parm and fresh parm have very different flavors. So a little bit of fresh I think is nice. Then squeeze of lemon. Lemon's so important. Clams, garlic, olive oil, lemon, red pepper flakes. They all wanna be together and a lot of parsley. That's it, that's the whole clam pizza. It looks so delicious. I'm very excited 
to try it. I'm gonna cut a little piece. Don't tell my parents that I cut on the cutting board on the sheet tray. They're gonna get mad. It's still nice and hot. I'm gonna slide this whole thing onto my cutting board. It smells good, right? What I like about this method is you know right from the get-go that the bottom of the crust is cooked, so just don't burn it. <laughs> Maybe a little bit what happened. This is such a good piece. There's like so much stuff on it. All right, let's take a look. What I like about it is it's like fully cooked. There's some nice caramelization on the bottom. Easy to eat. I don't know, like a piece of that, like the, the end of the piece kind of like flops and the toppings fall off. Mm. I don't know if I would totally call this clam pizza. It's kind of more of like a grilled flatbread made with pizza dough, but it's super delicious. The topping like comes together really fast once you have the clams. Mm. I don't feel like this is a recipe that you can only make in summer because you can get all these ingredients anytime. But to me, these are the flavors of summer and these are the flavors of being on Cape Cod, mostly because we found the clams nearby, dug them ourselves, cooked them, check out our other episode where you can see me do that and talk a little bit about the whole process and make some delicious clam chowder. So thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.